stop. You're looking now at the closing down of Juan Montoya by Kimi Raikkonen as this we approach uh, presumably the second round of pit stops fairly soon. And Montoya knows what he has to do. He has to uh, allow Raikkonen to pass him. He will not get an order from the team because team orders are not allowed in Formula One, but he knows what the score is. And that will mean, crucially from uh, Raikkonen's point of view, with Alonso in third place at the moment, that uh, he'll get an extra couple of World Championship points. That means he could potentially go away from here four points ahead of, with four points more than Alonso, cutting his lead from 27 to 23. It's still a long shot, but when you're in Raikkonen's position, you'll take anything you can get. Yeah, there's every chance to get it wrong yet this afternoon. It looks like at some point in the next 14 laps, they will all have to go for slicks. And there is the moment where he could make the critical error, whether it's Raikkonen or Alonso. And Alonso's got a, a cushion behind him. Barrichello's 27 seconds behind, although, albeit, lapping a little bit faster. So Alonso doesn't have to push too hard. Raikkonen keeps putting in new fastest laps of the race. They're doing now some 10 seconds off the lap record, to give you an idea. Normally around here, if it was fully wet, it'd be 15, 17 seconds slower. So that gives you an idea of just how dry it's getting. And, and aren't these intermediate tyres impressive? Uh, how far they've gone on a, a semi-dry line, and they're pushing hard uh, too. So the Inter's working supremely well. Yep, these tyres have done 19 laps then of uh, high pressure, and Kimi Räikkönen have just done the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, a 155.4, showing just how hard he is pushing. Here's Thiago Montero, who was in a points paying position for Jordan. He comes in for his second stop of the afternoon, and Jordan are in the hunt here, doing well. They're going to the intermediate tyre again, because the Bridgestone tyres they use, the uh, grooved Bridgestones, don't like damp conditions at all. Michelin can just about get away with it. They can handle a damp track with uh, a dry weather tyre, which the Bridgestone uh, teams cannot do. It has to be much drier for them to switch. Well, Massa can't handle it at the moment. He lost six seconds in the middle sector on his outlap. He's lost another two in the first sector of his first flying lap after putting dry tyres on. At least he's staying on the road. So it, it's just tremendous information for McLaren and Renault as they're letting the others be the guinea pig. I'll keep an eye on Massa, but uh, there'll be a moment when he just suddenly starts flying and then they'll all be in for dry tyres. That will be the decisive moment for sure. 13 laps to go then in this eventful Belgian Grand Prix. We've lost four cars so far. David Coulthard we saw retiring with an end. Montoya leading then. Raikkonen is right with him. Just a second on that last lap. Fastest man on the racetrack though, Mark Webber. In fourth place at the moment for the BMW Williams team. He's made two pit stops here. He was one of the men who uh, made the wrong choice on tyres earlier on. He's done very well to recover from that. Barrichello has, uh, has pitted as we saw. That moves Button up into fifth place. There's Felipe Massa really, really struggling on those dry tyres. Not getting any sort of drive and what a shame for him because he was in fifth place and going really, really well. But instead he's become a guinea pig for an, an, an uh, experiment which simply isn't working. This is uh, with his teammate uh, Vilna just behind him. Massa's already lost 15 seconds in the middle sector of that lap before a half spin in the final chicane too. So that lap ended up being uh, he's so far down. It was a two minute 19 as Kimi Raikkonen sets another new fastest lap on the intermediate tyres. Slicks are just nowhere. Alonso pits. What will they put on that? That's a critical one. Fernando Alonso is in the pit now. And the two McLarens carry on. Nothing on Michelin or Bridgestone dry tyres has had any kind of grip out there. During this Grand Prix, it rained heavily before it. Here's Raikkonen now right with Montoya as they come to lap Felipe Massa and uh, well Montoya at some point is going to have to let his teammate through it's he's as close as he's ever been there's Ron Dennis and it, looking around you can tell by the uh, body language there there's a rigidity about his back and his shoulders that says this is a big moment yeah, it'll be interesting for him that Alonso has gone out on the inters and they will have noted that very carefully just can't see why they're taking the risk. If Montoya has some big drama at the top of Radion, he could take Raikkonen with him, for example. And uh, your two cars running in close formation like that is, is a risk you don't need to take. And I suspect that's why Ron's looking across his shoulder. He would much prefer the choreographed swap to happen sooner rather than later.
We're into the second pit stop windows then, just 12 laps to go in this Grand Prix. One of these McLarens is going to come in, and it's going to be the race leader, Juan Montoya. He peels off. Raikkonen now leads this Grand Prix for the first time. We've only had one leader. He has been Juan Montoya. There's Martin Whitmarsh looking very uh, tense. There's Ron Dennis on his left. In comes Montoya. And, uh, well, Raikkonen was setting fastest laps in the lead-up to this stop. A very leisurely arrival in the pit box. A few turns of wing out of the... Uh, the front wing, just lowering the downforce a little bit there. Massey, you can see, in the pits again. It's his third stop here this afternoon. So this is, this is a decisive moment of the Grand Prix. Expect uh, Raikkonen in any time soon. Expect the lead to change at that point. What can Alonso do? He's back out again on his intermediate tyres in third place. Playing the percentage game. Jensen Button, terrific recovery from him. He is in fifth place, but yet to make his second stop. Barrichello has made his second stop. He'll take fifth place back from Button, who pits right now. So you've got to assume now that uh, Montoya will have a steady outlap. Well, he knows where they are at the moment. Kimi Raikkonen is pushing hard, though. He's intent on uh, getting the lead. And uh, Raikkonen set the fastest. My goodness me, I can't believe my eyes. 1 minute 53.8. That's two seconds faster than any lap in this Grand Prix so far. Wow. Why, why is he having to take that risk? I'm absolutely sure McLaren think that anything silver is more likely to get a penalty for team play than than other cars, especially if they're painted red. And uh, I'm sure that's the mentality. But I think it's been made absolutely clear. At this stage of the World Championship, team play is expected. It's just they don't want the fiasco that we had early in the season in Austria. But Raikkonen's had to follow his teammate. Now he's had to put it right on the line. He, of course, will put him in the lead. But you can kind of wonder why they, they didn't just swap him over and be done with it. Well, I think any right-thinking Formula One fan around the world would agree that uh, with three, only three more races after this one to go in the World Championship and the situation you have between Alonso and Raikkonen on points, that uh, it would be entirely stupid to uh, allow a Montoya to win the Grand Prix in front of Raikkonen in a 1-2 and any team that did that would need their head examining, team orders or no team orders. There is Fernando Alonso going along quite nicely, thank you very much. 12 seconds behind the race leading uh, McLaren of uh, Raikkonen so, sorry 39 seconds behind the race leading McLaren of Raikkonen and 12 behind Montoya so keeping in touch but uh, not too bothered at the moment accepting the situation as it is but critically 31 seconds ahead of Barrichello and significantly faster too so this is perfect he'll he'll take third place right now thank you very much and the six points that come with it here comes the race leader, Kimi Raikkonen. Well, he's certainly done enough with that last lap to uh, have taken the lead from Juan Montoya, whose last lap, his outlap was at 2 minutes 11. He will come uh, round shortly. Here's Kimi Raikkonen. Well, he's certainly done enough with that last lap to uh, have taken the lead from Juan Montoya, whose last lap, his outlap was at 2 minutes 11. He will come uh, round shortly. His middle sector was pretty fast Montoya, he's not hanging about, he's going to make Raikkonen right work for this. Change of tyres there, different philosophy for Raikkonen. Right All seem pretty good to me. Montoya is in the final sector of the lap. Hopefully we'll get a nice wide shot. We'll see where they come out relative to each other. That is Kimi Raikkonen and that is one Pablo Montoya. The switch has taken place. Raikkonen leads the Grand Prix and he's on his way to his second consecutive Belgian Grand Prix victory. They say that only the greats win many races around here. Raikkonen having a go. Alonso is in third place. Barrichello fourth. Weber fifth. Button sixth into the closing stages of the Belgian Grand Prix. James Allen and Martin Brundle with you. What an eventful afternoon we've had. Not for the first time at Spa. It always turns up an unpredictable one, doesn't it? Rain this morning. Foot that made the track wet. It hasn't rained during the Grand Prix, but still, the uh, intermediate tyre is the one to be on. And you have to take your hats off to Michelin and Bridgestone for making tyres that, intermediate tyres that have lasted this long. I mean, that is truly an amazing advance in tyre technology. We've lost Jano Chuli. Early on in the Grand Prix, he was running in third place he was compromised by pit stops but uh, he's out of the race uh, now he becomes the fifth retirement and uh, he's off the track at 
at uh, turn seven. And there you can see his Toyota in the barriers. So Jano Trulli, you can see quite how or why that happened. But um, now we haven't seen him leave the track at all. Uh, we saw some debris on the track uh, where he's crashed, which suggests he may have tripped over somebody else in fact but hopefully they'll dig out a bit of footage from somewhere Raikkonen's lead up to 10.9 seconds Montoya just seems to be covering Alonso at this stage and that's clean and Massa for P11 and clean takes it Massa's really been struggling he went out on the dry tires and uh, he's put intermediates back on and he's going nowhere but what a wonderful piece of information that was for Montoya Raikkonen and Alonso I'm sure it was a big factor in none of those three drivers taking the gamble on a set of tri tyres. Well, Kimi Raikkonen and Jensen Button are the fastest men on the racetrack at the moment. Button has a big incentive to go fast. He's in fifth place at the moment, chasing down Rubens Barrichello, who's fourth in the Ferrari. Raikkonen leading Montoya by 10 seconds. Alonso third, 16 seconds behind Montoya. Then it's uh, Barrichello, then Button, as I say. And that's going to be a battle before the finish of this Grand Prix. Mark Webber, who Button passed recently, is in sixth place. Ralph Schumacher is seventh, Pitsonia eighth. For those of you just joining us, the race started in damp conditions. Everyone going on the intermediate tyres. Mon Pablo Montoya led the Grand Prix from Kimi Raikkonen with Trulli and Alonso uh, in close pursuit. Lap 11, Giancarlo Fisichella had a big accident that brought out the safety car. Ralph Schumacher had just pitted, so uh, we thought maybe it would cost him something. But Kimi Raikkonen backed the field up uh, because he didn't want to get compromised in the pit box. And that allowed Ralph Schumacher into the hunt. Uh, there was then another accident between Michael Schumacher and Takuma Sato, which put both of them out of the Grand Prix at this corner here. La Source, which is the subject of a, a study from the stewards. We might hear about that before the end of the Grand Prix. Ralph Schumacher briefly the fastest man on the racetrack for one stage of the Grand Prix in the Toyota, pushing Juan Pablo Montoya hard for the lead. Then he uh, tried the dry tyres and found that it wasn't dry enough to go to them. Several people have tried that experiment. Felipe Massa tried it as well. Jacques Villeneuve tried it as well. But at the second round of pit stops, Raikkonen was able to get in front of Juan Pablo Montoya. He now leads the Grand Prix. And that's where we are, where we are, with six to go here. And there you can see Button now hassling Barrichello. And uh, he's going down the inside of him into the bus stop. Very neat and tidy. Jensen Button has pulled off two very impressive passing moves this afternoon that we've seen. One around the outside, and now one on the inside of the bus stop. And that's important for us to see, not just for this race. He's now up into P4. But we've seen Jensen, he's so smooth, so consistent. But, you know, I've sometimes wondered if there's just enough fire in him. And we've seen this last few races how determined he is now and how he'll hang it out a bit in qualifying. And you're right, James, two great overtaking manoeuvres. The first one around the outside of Villeneuve was even better than that. Certainly was. He passed him around the double left hander of Pouin. And that's normally in the dry, 150 mile an hour corner, so a bit slower in the wet, but nevertheless, brave stuff from Jensen. That's dry tyres going on to the Williams of Mark Webber. A final toss of the dice then for him in sixth place. Tech Kravitz, what can you tell I'll us? i tell you what, that's great news for Renault because the only hope Fernando Alonso has of winning this race or splitting the McLarens is to change onto dry tyres and then put in the laps. Although, Martin, I mean, he's 30 seconds behind. He would have that time and the time it took to do a pit stop to make up on those dry tyres. But at least they'll be able to look at Weber's times now and see if it's worth doing. But surely, with the lead Alonso's got in the World Championship, Martin, they can't think of doing that. Well, he won't want to, but Button is currently three to four seconds a lap faster than Alonso 28 laps behind him five uh, 28 seconds behind him five laps to go is not enough is it Alonso can just tootle around even if his tires are shot to pieces and uh, pick up that third place yeah the lap times are all over the charts at the moment the leader Raikkonen last last lap a 156.7 Montoya two minutes flat Alonso two minutes flat button 157 so you can see who's pushing and who's cruising in the closing stage of this Grand Prix. Barrichello's lap times have gone out to two minutes as well. Now, why are the lap times all over the place? Well, certainly these tyres will be feeling it now. You can hear, though, Montoya is hardly stressing that engine, is he? tickling the throttle isn't he because he knows he'll swap ends quicker than he can even think about it he's now 18 seconds adrift he's not pushing he knows he's had to yield to uh, his teammate and he's kind of fed up with that I'd imagine clean